Okay guys, let's get some destruction going. First of all, I'm going to drag this model inside of my project. You can place it anywhere you like, but make sure the rotation and scale are at default values. Then with this model selected, go into selection mode and then go to fracture. Now we have to create a new fracture, so under generate, click new. You can choose a folder that you would like, give it a name and then create a geometry collection. This is what the fracture is called. And right now you can see nothing has happened yet. Then under fracture you can choose whatever fracture you would like, you can slice it, you can make bricks like for example a building, but the uniform is the most common one. And then you can play around with how many fractures that you would like, but I'm going to leave this as is, go down and hit fracture. Right now this already worked, you can see right here, here under the explode amount, you can see when I move the slider, it is divided in a couple of pieces. But I can uh, fracture those pieces once more. So hit fracture once again. And now you can see it's way uh, smaller pieces. And even you can do this a third time and as many times as you like, you can refracture things however you would like this. Okay, so this is fractured right now. Let's go into selection. By the way, if you want uh, this color gone, you can click clustering and then under show bone colors, just remove this one. Okay, let's delete this model and let's uh, bring in the fracture model that I just got. And right now, let's move this up a bit. I can go here to simulate and simulate this. And as of now, it didn't deal any damage. Well, it is not fractured anyway, so to speak. So what I'm going to do now is go up here and then you can use mass as density and just untick that box and then hit play and it's more easy to fracture and right now this is a little statue and there's a lot of mess for this little statue but you can change all these values and test start however you would like but you can also scale this model up so for example really scaled up like this and let's now move it in the air and then hit play and you can see it fracturing like this okay another neat trick that you can do so let's put this more down like here, so it will fracture a bit. You can also drag in a basic shape. So for example, shapes. Let's get a sphere for, for example. And let's here under mobility set this to movable. Let's make it a bit bigger. So I can also smash pieces inside of my game right here. So now this is fractured for, for a big portion. But I can also fracture it one more. You can see I can smash this around and it's really fun. So this is the basic chaos system with fracturing mode in Unreal Engine 5. Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course The Unreal Vault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create a dragon fight with different attacks including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.